Hello, my name is Jan, and today I'm going to show you how to create a project in Aquarium. Let's start when you arrive on a platform where you can directly have uh, the Create a new project button. If you click on the button, you will directly see several templates or presets of projects that we have. You can choose between episodic, uh, to manage an episodic show, a short movie, a VFX one, and in the following weeks, we will add video game presets and development. The first one, custom, is to create an empty project where you can start from scratch and create your own. Just a quick note, but even if you choose uh, one of the existing templates, you are never stuck with them. You can always uh, upgrade them with new tasks or change their structure based on your needs. So even if you start from here, you are never stuck with the, the, the default uh, structure that we propose. So let's start today with a short movie. If you click next, you can choose several informations like, for example, the cover image uh, I can upload for that project. You can choose the name. For example, mine is Heaven Park uh, short movie. You can by default share the project only for you or with the rest of your team. In my case, I use only for me. Again, uh, you can change sharing permissions after creation if you need. So you can start with a project that is secret for now. And when it's ready to be shared, just share it uh, with your team. And then the last step is to choose uh, the default tasks that you want for that project. The first option, we name the task for you. We use pretty common uh, name as the industry, in the industry I mean. Uh, if you want to customize them, you can choose the last one. That's the one we are going to choose. So I can show you how it works, but you can customize the structure to, to choose the workflow you want. And the last option is import by CSV. So you can create and import uh, existing shots or assets that you might already have in a CSV. So that's where you can customize everything after creation also. So let's start with create your own structure. So from here, you can directly see the main items that we provide, uh, asset, sequence, and shot. If you choose an episodic show, of course, we'll have episodes available here, so you can choose the default tasks at the episode level. If you want, you can rename the existing tasks. You can, of course, remove a task, reorder them, or just add uh, the new one you want. Again, even if you forget or you don't know yet the older steps that you will have on the project, that's fine. You can add new steps after. Let's start with the default ones. So if I click finish here, my upload is in progress. It's creating the project and you are good to go to start managing uh, your production. When you are inside the project, you can see that I have two modules enabled by default the Asset Manager and the Shot Manager. If you want to enable other modules, you just have to click here to power up your project. Let's start with the Asset Manager. So by clicking on that, you have the list of all the workspace that you can have, uh, that you already have, sorry, in your project. So a workspace can be dedicated to have an overview of all the assets you have on the project, or you can also create uh, workspaces to dedicate it to a department. Let's start with the Asset Overview. So in the Asset Overview, you can directly create new character if you want, since I don't have any. If you want, you can regroup uh, your character inside the library. So let's call this one Characters. Uh, in this library, I can add, for example, my main character called Flint. You can see that the asset is created and automatically you have access to all the steps that you define at the beginning of the project. If you want to add new assets, you can, for example, create the cat. And if you use the control enter or command enter, if you're on Mac, you can directly create an asset and keep uh, the, the window open. So let's create dog. And the last one is the frog. When you are inside your workspace with that table, you can select multiple lines to change the status. Of course, you can do it uh, only on a specific one and you can select multiple lines to directly change the statuses of all the, the assets. 
When you click on an asset, it's directly opening for you the asset editor, where you have on the left all the tasks that you defined, and the main part is for the visual to gather the feedbacks. So you can upload uh, your medias, your videos directly on the asset and start drawing or annotate uh, your medias. If you want, you can also swap to another display. So we have the viewer, that's the current one where you can see and manage all the medias. But sometimes you need to focus on the feedbacks and the comments that your team or maybe your director uh, made. So if you click on that, you will have directly access to the comments uh, without having to browse version per version in the medias to find an open comment. This one is great to focus on the feedbacks. The overview is here to provide an overview of the asset, like a big activity feed of your character or any other item. Uh, the breakdown is to visualize and to edit the breakdown information. So if an asset is uh, linked to a shot, and the attachment is used if you want to attach, uh, for example, references, client brief, technical information. So everyone can know by just clicking on the character and, and its attachments to have all the relevant informations. At the bottom, you can directly see more global information about that asset. So you have the tasks. It's a big progression bar where you can quickly know What's the current status is that you have? So for example, this one may be work in progress. So you can know uh, that the, you have one task, uh, that it's in WIP. And of course, the description, if you want to have a description of your character. If you go back at the root of the project, we can do the same for the shots manager. So if I click in there, you can see that I have already a workspace existing. So you can create, for example, several sequences Let's call this one a zero dash dash, uh, not dash, sorry, hashtag. Uh, so the hashtag allow you to automatically create multiple uh, sequences with an incremental number based on the padding uh, you, you, you specify. So let's create five new sequence. And inside those sequences, you can directly add, uh, for example, the shot, so S010 underscore SH zero dash dash. Let's just have hashtag zero and let's create five. And like on the assets, you will see that directly your shots have automatically the correct uh, tasks that you define. And if you click on a shot, it's working the same way with the, the steps, the main part for the feedbacks, or you can change to another display. We added also an information regarding the duration where you can specify the in and out of your shot. But let's say that you want to create another workspace dedicated for a department. If you want to do so, you just have to click on the small plus here to create a new workspace. And you can follow the form to directly uh, choose the option you prefer. So if you have more an analytics view of your shots, you can choose this one. The overview is the one I chose you, uh, I showed you sorry, earlier with all the statuses of your tasks. And you can, of course, pick a dedicated department, for example, layout, to have an, uh, a workspace dedicated for, for, for that. So you can click Finish, and automatically the layout department is available. If you want, you can also store some workspaces that you like, uh, so they are directly available at the root of the project. So you don't need to browse the modules to directly uh, see the, the, the workspace that are relevant for you. Just click on the shot overview and you have everything ready. One other thing, if you want to have access to the project settings on the top right corner, you have the configure button. And if you click on that, you have general information about your project. You can add a small color code for easy identification of the platform. If you want to share uh, the project with other team members, this is where you can do that. You can create user groups so you don't have to manage permissions uh, for each individual member of your team. Create a user group and you can have multiple people uh, with the same permissions. And if you want to change the default task statuses, you can go to properties and you can update the default ones. So you can select a status, change its label, uh, change its color, create new ones also if you want to have other statuses. And you can do the same for the versions too. 
the versions is the entity the item in aquarium where you can centralize multiple media from the same version when you are doing your reviews so everyone can know from which file uh, all the version all the medias are coming from so thanks everyone uh, for watching this video on the next one we will see how to create and to customize the columns in your workspace or directly look at other modules that can be enabled uh, in your project in the meantime, feel free to reach us if you have any questions and have a nice day.